Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that brings so much hope and encouragement. God's healing touch in our lives. Have you ever wondered if the prayers you've been offering, the hope you've been clinging to, is actually making a difference? Well, according to the teachings and wisdom of St. Pio, there might be some subtle signs that God's healing hand is already at work. So buckle up and get ready to explore these signs. And don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your own experiences with God's healing power. Sign 1. An unexplained peace settles within you. The Bible tells us in Philippians 4, 7, And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. When we're facing struggles, illness, or any kind of hardship, it's natural to feel anxious and overwhelmed. But St. Pio often spoke about a deep peace that surpasses human understanding, a peace that settles upon us when God's healing begins. Imagine carrying a heavy weight for a long time, then slowly feeling it lighten. That unexplainable sense of calm, even amidst challenges, might be the first sign that God's healing balm is soothing your spirit. Sign 2. A renewed sense of hope flickers within. Have you ever felt like you've hit rock bottom with no hope for improvement? St. Pio, despite his own sufferings, encouraged people to hold on to hope. He believed that even in the darkest moments, God's light can penetrate. Proverbs 13.12 says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. This renewed sense of hope isn't just wishful thinking. It's a gentle nudge from the Holy Spirit, a flickering flame that whispers, There's still good ahead. Keep trusting in God's plan. As you experience this shift from despair to hope, it might be a sign that God's healing is mending the broken pieces within you. Sign 3. Increased Strength and Resilience The Bible is full of verses about God's strength being made perfect in our weakness. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. St. Pio himself exemplified this throughout his life. While we might pray for healing from a specific illness or situation, sometimes God's healing manifests in a different way. You might find yourself facing challenges with a newfound inner strength, a resilience you never knew you possessed. It's as if God is weaving invisible threads of courage and perseverance into your being. Even when setbacks occur, you rise again with a determination fueled by a faith that whispers, I can overcome this with God's help. This newfound strength is a powerful sign that God's healing hand is working mightily within you. Sign 4. A Greater Capacity for Forgiveness St. Pio was known for his emphasis on forgiveness and reconciliation. He believed that holding on to grudges hinders our spiritual growth and healing. Maybe you've been harboring resentment towards someone who hurt you deeply. But lately, you've felt a gentle nudge towards forgiveness, a willingness to let go of the bitterness. This doesn't mean forgetting what happened, but rather choosing to release the negativity and allow God's love to heal the wounds. Matthew 6, 14, 15 says, for if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you yours. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. This newfound capacity for forgiveness is a significant sign that God's healing power is mending your heart and setting you free from the chains of resentment. Sign 5 a deeper connection to God through prayer. Prayer is a powerful form of communication with God. St. Pio spent countless hours in prayer, and he encouraged others to do the same. When we find ourselves drawn to prayer more than usual, it might be a sign of God's healing presence. Perhaps you feel a renewed sense of intimacy during prayer time, a deeper longing to connect with the divine. This isn't just about uttering words, it's about opening your heart to God's love and allowing Him to heal you from the inside out. As you find solace and strength in prayer, it's a beautiful sign that God is actively listening and working His healing power in your life. 
Sign 6. A Renewed Desire to Help Others The Bible tells us in Galatians 5.22, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. St. Pio himself dedicated his life to serving others. As God heals us, we often experience a renewed desire to extend that healing love to others. Perhaps you find yourself more compassionate towards those suffering, more willing to lend a helping hand, or drawn to volunteer your time or resources. This newfound desire to serve isn't just about external actions. It's a reflection of the healing love of God overflowing within you. As you become a vessel of God's healing for others, it's a powerful sign that His restoration is at work in your own life. Sign 7. Unexplained Coincidences or Signs St. Pio believed in the power of divine intervention. Sometimes God's healing might come through unexpected channels, through what we might perceive as coincidences. Maybe you receive a word of encouragement from a stranger just when you needed it most, or you find yourself at the right place at the right time to help someone in need. These seemingly random events might be God's way of guiding you on your healing journey, nudging you in the right direction, or reminding you that He is with you every step of the way. As you become more aware of these subtle signs, it can bring a deep sense of peace and trust in God's perfect timing and faithfulness in your healing. If you're experiencing any of these signs, know that you're not alone. If you're experiencing any of these signs, know that you're not alone on your healing journey. We'd love to hear your story in the comments below. Share your experiences, ask questions, and find encouragement from this amazing faith community. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new content that can uplift and inspire you. Hit that like button if this video resonated with you and share it with someone who might need a dose of hope today. Remember, we read and reply to all comments, so feel free to suggest future topics or simply say hi. Explore the rest of our channel content. You might find something else that speaks to your heart. If you'd like to join us in supporting our monthly charity efforts, you can check out the Super Thanks button next to the Like and Share buttons. Every bit helps. To get in touch with us directly or learn more, you can find our email address in the description below. Let us know where in the world you're joining us from. We love our global community. Share in the comments what part of this discussion resonated most with you. And remember to keep the conversation respectful, loving, and Christ-centered. We'll be deleting any unkind or hateful comments. After all, following Christ isn't just about belief. It's about living with love and compassion. Remember, think before you click. There's power in silence too. So if something doesn't resonate, you're welcome to simply move on. May the blessings of God be with you all, always. See you in our next content.